Ryan. Uh, what, uh, Carson's not here. Carson's not here. He's, uh, he's doing a test for a family video. And we all hope for the best. Yes, we do. We hope that he got all the pee out so he, <laughs> so he won't have any stains on his record. Uh, what was that? What music were we enjoying there, John? It was uh, Patchwork had their version of uh, a Nikki from uh, Prince. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That, that song's been covered a few times. Patchwork Kids. Is that a local band? Patrick Head. Uh, yeah, they're um, from the local area. Okay. Yeah. They sounded like a local band. Yeah, they're pretty... I like them, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, they, we, we play the local music here, and so do major radio stations in this area as well. Uh, yes. So... Hi. Dummies. Anyway, uh, <laughs> how about this? Uh, I thought we'd just do a couple of stories here before we, before we cash in. Um, apparently, the reason why uh, the stocks are tanking today is on the fear of the fact that the banks are going to be nationalized. So they feel like that the, all the stock, all the bank stock is just going to be taken off the Useless. market. Yeah. Uh, so there's a sell-off there. And that's why this... And as soon as there's a sell-off, all of Wall Street goes, ah! Yeah. ah! You know, then they freak out and run and start selling off all their shit. Yeah. Yeah. But what do you think about that? I'm, I'm, uh, I, you know, I'm of a couple of minds on this, but I thought we kind of get this kind of conversation. What do I think about what? Uh, uh, about a nationalized bank. God, you had to pick a, you, you picked a high topic for me. On I don't a day think like so. Today. Well, okay, how about this? What do I think about nationalized bank? Look, I, I don't know that they can. Can they? I th- I, I they mean, absolutely can, they? can, yeah. Well, all right, let's just say it's like this, okay? Let's say that you go to, let's just say that they just go with the Bank of America and that's the name of all the banks. And fuck it, that's the, that's the name. And we have one bank. And we have one bank. Mm-hmm. And then so you go to... To, uh, and then it's exactly like the post office. You there's there's uh, all these locations that used to be Chase. Uh, you know maybe there are, maybe that you allow for some. Maybe maybe what you do because obviously but you don't just have the post office. You have FedEx. You have DHL. You have uh, so my, I imagine that it'll UPS. probably be like that where it's where they say all these shit banks that just cannot get out of their own fucking way. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just you nationalize them. Let's say you go with Bank of America, you go with Wells Fargo, you go with a couple others. It'd mostly be a lot of banks in the Northeast, I've noticed, mm-hmm. by the way. Chase isn't one of them, I don't believe, that's been bailed out. I don't think it is. Um, I, um, the, the banking one, I haven't really gotten my head around the whole thing. Okay. So. Well, so what they say is they say, okay, all you banks that suck... You're, it's now the Bank of America, and we own it. And then it's just like the post office now. You basically go down. You have a checking account. You have a savings account. But the fucking government runs it. Mm-hmm. So that way, you're, you're, you get your loans from the government. You get your loans from everything else. I don't know. Does that seem like a bad idea to you? I don't know. I, I think whenever, whenever the government does it, you know, I, I mean... I, in, in in some ways, it seems it's it seems like oh well that that would be pretty efficient you know if the government but you know you also when the government's running it you have no recourse no as a customer no you don't so if they fuck you over too bad we're the government that's true as as you know especially when you compare it to the just the the miles of e- of recourse you have now. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> Lord knows that you can go down there and shake a fist and they'll change it for you. That's true. <laughs> I think we need more banks, not less. See, I, I, I think, I, I think with every, all these different uh, industries that were deregulated starting in the, in the 80s, the early 80s, banking was one of them. And, you know, th- these conglomerates popped up, and in every instance, they're too fucking big. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I, don't, I, I think we need. More banks, not less banks. But that's hard like, to do because the because the problem is is that well let me, let me how about we put it this way well they the, did it with AT and T you're right so, well and that's the question is by having a standard mm-hmm. like the like the Bank of America and that's the that's the government bank by having the government bank that everybody can just go to if you don't want any risk. Does that stabilize the banking market? So then, that way, if these assholes fuck up again, then there's then there's a recourse. But see, what happens is the people like me and you that, che- that 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 you know never bounce checks and 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 write checks and you know use our ATM card and use our debit card like we're supposed to and you know don't don't bother with the teller and we do direct deposit. We're not the ones. It just sucks that people like me and you. Like for example, there is a Bank of America. Yes, I'm a member. Okay, they're one of the banks that are in trouble. Mm-hmm. What sucks is I never went down to a Bank of America branch and opened up an account. No, my bank was acquired by a, another bank and then another bank until suddenly I'm part of Bank of America, and now I don't even know if my bank is gonna is it solvent or not. Yeah, you don't so because th- these could be, everyone's swallowing everybody else up. Yeah, so that's so that's like that's maybe that's the reason why you have 
a government bank. If you take all these banks that were shit and then make them all one bank and call it, you know, it's the it's the US government bank. Mm -hmm. So maybe that means that then then you know if you put your money into a private in, 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 into a private entity, then then basically then, then now you've got a you know a solid base that you're building an economy. But on. Uh, but our de deposits are insured now. That's the, not where the problem. This is the true. Problem is in mortgages. This is true. But like but then but then if you have a, if you have a government bank out there that can put out mortgages and, and and this that and the other thing, then you don't now you're you actually do increase competition because if you obviously you're not going to outlaw. You know whether or not people get uh, whether somebody can open a bank or not, but they're gonna fucking think twice because you know that there's mitigated risk by putting your shit in there. So they're gonna compete even harder. Well, aren't they gonna do something similar to what they did with the SNL crisis? In, yeah, in they the, are. Where they they do set up a, a corporation that kind of takes all this bad debt and absorbs this bad debt. Yeah. and somehow or another dissipates. Well, it was the Republicans yesterday that came out and said that they are for nationalized banks. Which, really, I know. They don't know what they're for. What the fuck is going on with them? It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, you would just watch it. You can't help but just watch it and just go like, didn't they? Does anybody? And I saw them pointing this out on TV, and I, I think I said this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they do realize that they've tried this bit before. Yeah, they were all anti New Deal. They yeah. thought this was a terrible idea, and they all voted against it. And none of them got got elected for twenty years. Yeah. So I mean, this 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 game this dice has been rolled before. Do you think any of them know that they're a one song party right now? That's that. I think you really are looking at a party, a political party that's got to re reinvent itself. Just they, they may they may need a new name. They're going to be the Whigs. They're they because they just don't they don't have a direction. They allowed themselves to get taken over by. The uh, the religious right, I yeah. believe, and and now they don't stand for anything. Well, they they because they don't even talk about that stuff anymore. No, you know, they to don't. their credit, because they kept they, they started losing elections. Yeah, but you know, people who are conservative aren't nece aren't necessarily religious zealots. Yeah, well, the problem is is that they won the O four election based on John Kerry is gonna draw, is gonna kill you, mm -hmm. uh, and, and but after it after it all the chattering class analysis was that the religious right was the one that put him over. Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, looking and now you see what, what happened with the religious right base. It actually didn't exist. It was much smaller than they thought it was going to be. Yeah. So And to the point where um, McCain didn't do that bad in alienating them, and they still lost big time to, to Obama. So I, you know, I think that it was overstated. Uh, so now they've been looking for a new leader. And if your leader's a radio talk show host... Folks, you're in some serious. Is trouble. that who this guy was? This guy a radio talk show? Oh, you're talking. I I I thought you were talking about the real leader. You Michael mean, Steele. You, yeah. No, you're talking about Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, that's 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 who the, that's the yeah, guy. He's the voice. Who Rush Limbaugh? Who who you know Keith Olbermann calls him a comedian. Yeah, Rush Limbaugh. Because when he first started that show, it was a, a joke. It was. It, it was. was it was intended to be a farce. Yeah, it is. You know. Uh. You know, and, and it wasn't in for you know a year or so that he started taking himself seriously. Yeah. And he and 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 that's exactly what's happened. And it's it's, it's like crazy. Dennis Miller. Would you make Dennis Miller the, the the head of your party? But that. But see, that's why. That's how out in the woods they are. Is that they is that they have decided this guy's the guy because they because see. You and I know that the way that you uh, the, the way that you become the biggest radio show host ever is you go on the radio and say you are. Mm -hmm. So you say you've got millions upon millions of listeners, and you say that this is this is the audience that you have. It may or may not be true, and you probably have some empirical data to back it up. But if Rush Limbaugh has five percent of just the 2554 age cell listening in his particular market that's a win mm -hmm. in radio so because radio is so spread so, so you know spread out it, it, he might only be getting a small percentage of people listening but is when it comes to advertising revenue you're going to get buried in money because you're cuz you're super serving a particular age cell am i right. i'm putting this in words that they're not going to understand yeah you're, you're I, th I think we lost we lost the one guy uh. how about this the fucking the the thing about rush limbaugh is is that he's not as big as it seems that his listeners are mm -hmm. does that make sense what's what yeah and and what makes him big or or seemingly big is 
the media needs to have someone who represents the Republican Party. Yes. So the media picks Rush Limbaugh because he did come out and say that he uh, he hopes uh, Obama fails. And you know he he's been around forever. Everyone knows who he is. He's he immediately recognizable. Right. You say Rush Limbaugh, everyone will say, oh, conservative talk show host. Yes. You know he invented conservative media. Yeah, he did. So I mean, he, you know, so that be, be, in in the absence of any strong leadership on the Republican side because they don't have any. Right. You 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 he's filling a void. And I agree with you. And I but I don't know. I forgot I forgot what I was going to say. But it just it does seem like like they're running to him. Uh, without ever considering if if he is really the guy that should be leading them at that point, and I don't necessarily think he does. Oh, and the other problem is is that they get a lot of calls from from Rush Limbaugh fans because he encourages people to call, you know, people who are mm-hmm. representatives. Now you know and I know that radio listeners, you know, on average are far more fanatical than any t- television watcher that that's out there. If you if you have a radio show that people really really dig. They will do anything for you. There's mm-hmm. a certain sub, you know, sub-segment of the population right. that will really do anything for you because you're on for four fucking hours. Right. So you're, you're obvi- part of these people's lives. Yeah, you are. Mm-hmm. And, the, and the, you're, you're part of the, the ride to – you look forward to go get lunch every day because Rush Limbaugh is going to go with you. Mm-hmm. you know, that's, and, and maybe you might even – you know, if you see a long line at McDonald's every once in a while, you're like, fucking hey, I get to hang with Rush a little longer. Right. And that's and – that's, and you know, people do that. And if he can get you riled up in that 20 minutes to make you call somebody, which is not hard to do because no other medium out there gives you 20 minutes of, un, of un, you know, broken content. Uh, What's great is how Eric – Eric got this uh, blog published uh, last oh. week, <laughs> and throughout this entire conversation, he's thrown in things from the blog that, that had you. If, if you read the blog like I did, yeah. you're recognizing these points. I wrote it. Of course, I'm <laughs> going to think of these fucking things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that intentionally, but that's true. I mean, yeah, like that's that's you know that's what the thing is. So the idea that this is the guy that's necessarily going to lead them is so is is farcical. Mm-hmm. Even though he's a damn fine radio host, I really. Like I told you before, I thought it was. I just can't take him anymore. I'm over him. Well, because you remember what it was. I remember when he was was. actually funny. Yeah. 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 So, what do you think about this thing that California is broke? What do you think about that? They're firing twenty thousand people. Yeah. They're, uh, you know, they've been, they were doing a bunch of grants. Did you see? Did Did you see uh, what Chrysler announced today? What they're going to do for cost savings? No. What they They're doing stuff like uh, they went. They went down in, you know, down in. uh, I'm going to say Ann Arbor and Auburn Hills. They've taken that building alone. They took all the clocks off the walls to save on batteries. They've replaced every other light bulb or, or taken every other light bulb out of the building to save on energy. They're not plowing the uh, upper deck of the parking lot for the remainder of the winter. I mean, it's just this is how you're going to com- come back. Wow. So That's I, like not promoting your 800 number anymore. Right. <laughs> Like, let's say you had an 800 number, but you don't want anyone to call it. Yeah, because it costs you money. Because it costs you money, yeah. <laughs> you need I that. I mean, how desperate? How desperate is that? How desperate, by example. Yes. <laughs> so California, I don't know. I, I do think, though, that uh, you notice that the Republicans don't point to uh, the governor <laughs> as one of their own because he's, he's about as liberal as Obama. Yeah, I mean, he is. You know, he's, he's, call, he's a Republican in name only. Yeah, and know. well, even Charlie Crist is like, bring that money down. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, the, 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 cause that's the problem. You don't have anybody working in these states. States with larger populations are the ones that are really hurt, and I imagine Montana's doing fine. Oh yeah, you know well, there's no one there. There's, the cows are still there. They yeah, still eat. Yeah, and you got and someone needs to kill them. Mm-hmm. So you, so obviously those people still have jobs. And then you know the the, the corn will grow and yes, people will, will pick it. And- but the but but the places like California, like you know, because that's a very that's a big manufacturing state. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously a lot of people talk about Hollywood, and that does that does drive a shitload of money. But you, you, it's a major manufacturing state. You would drive up and down the 405 and you're going to see. Well, look at the wine industry. That's got to get hurt. Oh, yeah, People yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a wine drinker. Do you drink as much wine as you did? No, I don't. Yes, yeah, see? <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't. No, it sucks. I yeah, yeah. yeah you know. But, you know, I, that, and, that's, and those are, these are all industries that are, that are really hurting out there. So they want to – so they're going to slash 20,000 jobs. Mm-hmm. But I just saw a statistic, which I got to tell you – you know the the thing if if the Obama um, uh, uh, media office they couldn't have started on a worse on a worse note but they're really getting good I, I right before I turned off the TV to come pick you up I saw that they were uh, they were announcing 
they were going through every state and showing them the stimulus package that was about to be signed. They showed how many jobs would be adding in, in each state. Wow. And I thought that was pretty impressive. Michigan's 107,000. Wow. And uh, California was 335,000. Wow. Uh, I wonder what the kind of jobs they are. Well, it's, it's, it's all like... Uh, like, are these real numbers or are they just, are they just like, well, it should do this? Yeah. You know, you know how the government sometimes just makes shit up? Well, that's, but see, that's, that was the thing about why, this, why I liked the stimulus package and I liked the idea that it was going to create... Because, see, the problem is, is that, you know, the Republican thing is that you go out and you do tax cuts on small business. Mm-hmm. So here's... It's, the idea is, hey... Small business guy, I'm going to give you a bunch of money. Now you're going to go ahead and turn that into jobs now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Aren't you? And they never do. And they never fucking do. As a matter of fact, with the goddamn auto industry, they took those Reagan tax cuts and built fucking shit in Mexico. Yeah. Thanks a million. Yeah. You know, that, that's, what they did with that, that's what they did with that money. But with, the, with this deal, it's the government saying, okay, I just created the, uh, the, the department – of blah blah blah, yeah. and you now have to staff it, and that's and that's and that's where it goes, and they have to do it. So that's why I like this form of government spending. I was actually reading up on the New Deal and FDR yesterday, and because I'm just, we have that kind of time, just yeah. that yeah. board, yeah. Uh, and it, and this is exactly what he did. He just uh, like actually FDR created a shitload of uh, of departments. That were completely unconstitutional. Yeah, I do. I, I do remember that from uh, school. But fuck them, it's a mm-hmm. job. So like, uh, yeah, the Supreme Court shut them down. Took them six years to do it. Yeah, and that was a six-year job those dudes had. Maybe they move, and and you know that they were saying from the top, look. Find another job now yeah. that they're available, okay? Because we are <laughs> fucked. Yeah, we're out of here. As it turns out, the NRA is not going to work. Uh, <laughs> actually, I believe that's what it was. Too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's um, it, it's interesting when you look at all that stuff. Is because that's what that's how they did it. And, and now there was the second New Deal, which is the, which is where people kind of say that he may have been overreaching a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there are, there's the Republicans. Well, the 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 war brought us out of the yeah. Well, how'd the Iraq War do for bringing us you out? You know, of this? war wouldn't bring us back now because we don't make anything. No, the reason the war, you know, helped bring us out of a, of a depression is because suddenly everyone we had to make all this shit to yeah. go to war with. You yeah. Know? You got all this stuff. We don't make that stuff anymore. Could you imagine? Where are we going to make a tank? Yeah, you're right. What, could you imagine the Republicans though, if in the event that that was said? Because this is this is. I told you I wanted to go far more toward the center after Obama. But these assholes, as soon as the, if 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 you're talking World War II, well, we can't have all this wasteful government spending. Yeah. You know, because that's where the fuck do you think those tanks? Who do you think was buying those tanks? Yeah. That was way. That was government spending. Mm-hmm. And like the idea that all of a sudden all government spending is bad is is bullshit. And the idea that all of a sudden that uh, uh, you know, we went the non-regulation route. You know, Reagan did introduce uh, deregulation. Where did it fucking get us? It got us a housing bubble that exploded in oh, 2008. I mean, look, I've said this for years, and Reagan did introduce the uh, the deregulation. You never hear the following. The following never happens. Wow. Deregulation really helped that industry out a lot. It never it does. It never works. It never there, works. There's always a few fat cats that make a lot of money and get out. Yeah, and and, that, and they and and leave behind an industry that's crippled. It's happening in radio right now. Big time. It happened in airlines. Yeah. Banking, like you just brought up, it it, it never works. No, it's 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 kind of interesting because like I do I do think that capitalism is the best way to go, but a pure capitalism, Adam Smith, invisible hand thing is not possible. You mm-hmm. don't have the it, the problem is is that. You know, Alan Greenspan said that the thing that he had never considered when he, when he started interv- introducing uh, uh, deregulation is the out of control greed that came from bankers. Really? Yeah. You is it's a surprise to you that all of a sudden people just go like, well, let's make sure that we're morally doing the right thing. Yeah. No. The, what what was the question always at, 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 at any business you've ever been in? The first question is, is it illegal? No. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah. yeah. That's all it you is. Have more discussion about what's legal and what's not. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. As soon yeah. as they they figure out and what's how can legal. we get around. It. Yeah, how can we get around the legal, the legalities? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's always that way. And, you know, as soon as, you know, people started buying up those radio stations, for example, just the consolidation thing, it was heavily covered in the in the late 90s mm-hmm. um, in, like, Rolling Stone. They did a bunch of things on it. And, and But people aren't talking about it anymore, which is now where we figured out. It's like, because the question is, will consolidation work? Well, now we know. No, it doesn't. Right. At all. As a matter of fact, it's an extremely bad thing. I mean, they, they went consol- – they, they consolidated a clear channel, then tried to go private. They took step two. That didn't work either. Right. So you just need smaller companies. Yeah, you do. What it comes down to. See, it would be great is if every um, 
Cable Channel was its own company. I think a lot of them were at one point. Weren't they, they were. Well, until yeah. de- deregulation, yeah. they de- 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 deregulated that too. Yeah, they de- they've deregulated it, every- and it and it always sucks. Mm-hmm. Look at what happened to satellite radio. Mm-hmm. Look you at know. what happened to and that's that's only been around for a few years, but yeah. it's all it already sucks because they <laughs> let them merge. Yeah, and yesterday they, they yesterday they almost went belly up. Yeah, they got a deal at the last minute, but it's going to happen probably this year. Yeah, and what are you going to do with your satellite radio? What, wouldn't you be pissed if you owned a satellite radio? I mean, I have one in my car. I don't use it. But, yeah, but if you went out and bought one, but if you went out and bought a satellite radio, a really nice receiver. You know, now what? You're going to listen to uh, pagers? <laughs> yeah. You know, there ain't a whole lot they can do with that, that technology, it, it, you know. Well, I mean, you, you, there's other... The, the cool thing is is that you can use other technologies, though. Technology is keep, keeps doing better. And the thing is is that radio is perfect. Like, right now, right now, people are listening to this on the, on the, on the internet. Mm-hmm. We're two, you know, fired DJs that never had it. That In the event that this happened 10 years ago, we would never be even have, have this opportunity mm-hmm. to do this. You no, know, we wouldn't. And, and you would just have to sit out for, for months. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, now, and the other thing is, is that now we have the opportunity that, like, if I walk out of here and I want to listen to radio and I want to do so outside of my car, I just plug my headphones into my phone. Mm-hmm. So, and, and, and the thing is, is that guys like you and me will always know how to deliver audio media. And that's and that's the thing that you can that we do better than anybody else. Although today's podcast, I don't think is an excellent example. Oh, actually, I think this is a this is a great one. Okay, this has been freewheeling conversation for an hour. You've been in a, <laughs> fucking John's riveted. Okay, it, we're, 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 we've covered it all. Tell you what, I like about, more laughter. You want you want more yeah, I like, laughter? I like more. Uh, you know. Well, you know, if every once in a while you just every once in a while you have a day where three where the stock market j- plunges three hundred points. Know, God damn, is it three hundred? Yeah. The, hey, listen, that's the thing. Uh, what do, what do I always say? You don't change the subject. Right. Talk about what people are talking about. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, I'll, you want to leave on fun? We'll leave on fun. Okay. All right. What do you got? We'll leave on fun. Uh, student arrested for da, 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 da. yes. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, student arrested for uh, cheating. Cheating. And uh, cheating on, on his... Uh, that'd be, on an exam. That'd be, that'd be pretty extreme. That would be an extreme, yeah. All right, but wait a minute. That's, about, your, that's you, cheating. Okay. Let's go to John. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Sex in the hallway. Sex in the hallway. That'd also be, be nice. pr- yeah. pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, okay, now we need to have two guesses. You guys can guess again. Go more benign. Okay? Uh, more benign than, uh, than cheating. Wow. Uh, arrested for... Uh, uh, sleeping in his car. Sleeping in his car. Let's go to John. Wearing offensive T-shirts. Wearing an offensive T-shirt. That's already happened. That's not. That's not. Uh, wouldn't be all that surprising. No. Fourteen-year-old Wisconsin girl who refused to stop texting during a high school math class was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> She got arrested. I'm gonna meet that cop. Arrested for disorderly conduct, nonetheless. Wow. I, I mean. Holy shit! Is there anything that's more silent than fucking texting? Is there anything that, that like you keep to yourself? Talk about like, not creating a scene. Have you ever been like, Jesus Christ, look at that motherfucker? I mean, I, I mean, I can see, I can see you getting suspended. Yeah, or or sent to the principal's office. Right. I mean, I can see that that scenario unfolding. But yeah. To get arrested for texting. For, like I said, would you, wouldn't you like to meet that cop, the guy that, that wrote that yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, because I, I mean, I've never been a police officer, but I, I would imagine before they th- throw the cuffs on you, you have to hit certain criteria <laughs> yeah, exactly. in their mind. They, they think to themselves, okay, okay, well, this this happened, that happened. Okay, there, there appears to be, uh, uh, you know, clear and pl- present danger of some sort. <laughs> yes. You if think I don't that- haul this 14-year-old out of math class and cuffs right now. You'd think that, you'd think that basically that would be how it is, but I guarantee it's not. It's some d- douchebag with a fucking buzz cut that's going. You're arrested for uh, uh, meh. Yeah, exactly. Meh. Uh, Disorderly conduct. Yeah, that's what happened. Here, let's see some more of this. This is uh, let's see. Uh, the teenager was busted last Wednesday at. at Wow, wow, you, you, you can never pronounce the Wisconsin names. It's amazing. East High School after she... Pl- and I've, you see the people from Wisconsin, you wonder how they can pronounce the names. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> With all that space between their two front teeth. <laughs> uh, between their eyes. She was arrested after ignoring a teacher's demand that she cease texting. The girl whose name has been redacted uh, initially denied having a phone when confronted by the <laughs> school, sec- school, school security office. Officer. Yeah, they have that now. What the fuck is that they about? They have that now, yeah. That is the dumbest thing ever. They have those here. Ugh. 
Yeah, yeah, you ever go over to Central High School? You got a full security array to go through. Oh, yeah. If you you got to go through the gates, you know, the metal detecting gates and everything. You don't just walk in like you used to. That's fucking stupid. For, for, three, Columbine. for three isolated incidents. Well, I guess it's a job created. I guess I can't really bitch too mm-hmm. much. It is stupid. Like when I went to when I went to the international school, we had a, we had a security staff, but of course we did. That was when the Iraq you were in was, Germany. Yeah, that there was terrorists. You know that actually there there are fuck the fucking listen. Inter- you were in Germany. Anything weird could happen at any point in oh, Germany. Yeah. Let's oh, be yeah. Let's oh, be yeah. honest. Let's be honest. The guy, my the, level of anxiety if I were in Germany uh, for any amount of time, I, I'd have a heart attack. You you and the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, exactly. <laughs> Those chickens have got to be terrified all the time. Ah, don't fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow uh, let's see here da, 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 da. however the, the the phone was located uh after the girl was frisked by a female cop it's a phone wow so they call in they so the security officer called in the police yes Wow, uh, yeah. And the taxpayers of Walla Walla, Wisconsin, whatever yeah, yeah. it's called. <laughs> Unbelievable. they be pleased with where their money's being spent. The Samsung Cricket, the police report noted, was recovered from the, quote, buttocks area, unquote. She put it in her ass? Yes, of the teenager. The, the, the student teenager put her phone in her ass. Unfucking she's believable. Probably fat. Yeah. She's, probably <laughs> big, one of the, she's probably the fat kid. She just likes to she feel the vibration. She was texting her Jimmy John's order. <laughs> I want the pay pay with extra, 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 extra mayonnaise. I'll never find it here. Uh, the student was issued a criminal. How about, how about that? Just stop there for a minute. So the, the cop gets home and tells her husband yeah. her day. Yeah. You know. You wouldn't believe well, it. Well, we had uh, you know we, we we had a we had a cat stuck in a tree. Uh, I had to be in court for the, for the speeding ticket to ten, and then at two thirty. Uh, I dug a Samsung cricket phone out of a girl's ass. Responding to a 911 at the school. Responding to a 911 at the school. We had a disturbance. (laughs) Disorderly conduct. By the way, was arrested. $298 bail. Well, you know, if you're going to put the phone in your ass, I imagine there was some kind of disturbance. <laughs> I think it was in her, bu- her buttocks pocket there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brian. I thought she but put it in her ass. I, want, I wanted you to... I just saw her in her little... I, I, I was imagining her in her little uh, her little school skirt. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I just all of a sudden... And relax. Boom! It drops down on the floor. <laughs> School skirt. What is it? A Catholic school? In That's your mind? what I'm in my mind. <laughs> nice. Tell you what Brian's thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. Yeah, right. A lot of free time. Uh, Errol Smith video. I don't- <laughs> unfucking believable. The girl who was bu- the girl was barred from school property for a week. Wow. Uh, scheduled for an April 20th court appearance on misdemeanor rap. Misdemeanor. She's only 14. Mm-hmm. Man, the rest of her high school careers, she, she's fucked. Oh, she's she's, she's fucked. gonna drop. She's, she's gonna drop her. out by the time she's fifteen. She'll have two kids by the time she's seventeen. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah, she'll she's be done. Her heels she's be, done. Yeah. Her. She'll be digging her heels into the into the ceiling of a fucking <laughs> of, of a station wagon. <laughs> Just mommy says not in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> a station wagon. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pulling off those those whitey tidy those white panties, and they've just got the orange stain in the middle. No, I swear it's rust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could got away with that on regular radio, now, do you? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 absolutely. Close though. Yeah, you could do like. Uh, well, actually, you could probably do the the the, the heels into the station wagon. I could yeah, you could say that. that. I have co- said that. I think the confused look that yeah. the, that you've done. <laughs> Yeah, regular radio is actually not not that hard to get around. How many yeah. radios? I mean, how many uh, station wagons you see around nowadays? Uh, <laughs> okay, well, just yeah, take the gut side of the joke. <laughs> it was fun. I was having fun. Yeah. And actually, regular radio is a little easier than you think it is. It's actually it's you just have to know what if if you know what the line is, then you know exactly. The how problem to dance is on that it. you work for people who don't know what the line. That's is. the problem. So so you inevitably you find yourself. Uh, defending something that it shouldn't even be mentioned. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you just—it's—it's it's very confusing. Yeah, that's the problem. All right, you want to wrap up? We had that's fun. Fun. Yeah, I had a good time today. How about you, John? Did you have a good time today? Okay. Good. All right, we'll be back Thursday. Hopefully, Carson, Carson will be back. Carson will be here. Yes, he'll be here. Bye bye.